My girlfriend, Kaish, thinks that I'm sleeping with Xavier. And I just want my name to be clear. Xavier is openly gay. I'm not. And people getting the wrong idea about me and Xavier's friendship. You know, sometimes me and Xavier go out to parties, sometimes go to hotels, you know, to drinks, you know, just, just the normal thing. Two weeks ago, Kai's friend caught me coming out of Xavier's hotel room. And now she thinks that me and Xavier having sex. He, he's really just a friend, you know, nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I, I would not never in life have sex with Xavier. It's like a father figure to me. It's just like having sex with my father. I would never do nothing like that. Me and Kaish been having problems because I don't really know if our two-year-old son is mine. Me and Kaish, we split up for two weeks. We both had different people. We're, we're seeing different people. Our time really don't add up when she got pregnant. So that right there led to my doubts. Ever since then, she started, I might not be the dad. I felt disappointed, hurt. Me and my son, we go to the park together. Um, we um, go out to eat, we have ice cream, you know. Um, we do all, uh, a lot of fun stuff together and you know, I, I really enjoy him. It hurts me because he might not be mine. I took this lie detector test to prove to Kaish that I'm not gay and I want to I want my relationship back on track. I hope and pray that this is my son. And I really, really want my family back. I just want the truth. How did you find out about him and Xavier? <laughs> at the hotel. My friend girl, she called me one night and remind you that Eddie was not home when my friend girl called me. She was like, Isha, I was like, yeah, what's up? How about I just seen Eddie leave at the hotel with Zay? I think she playing like what bitch? So I was like, I'll just, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. So I hung up the phone and he wasn't at home. He came home at about I was about 2.30 that morning. I was in the bed, I had my back turned. I didn't want to look me in his face and I didn't want to confront him then because we have other children in the home. Right. And when we, we are, and, I mean, it go from zero to 10. I mean, yeah. we fight and everything. All the kids are sleeping at this point. Yes, but we get loud. Yeah. I mean, when we shake the house, we shake the house. Yeah. So um, I didn't want to bring it up to him then. So. He get undressed and he lay down behind me. He tried to like rub my legs, so I knock his head. I like, don't touch me, please, do not touch me. I ain't want to bring it up. Now, to when him, he rubs his leg, are you think it's going to lead to something else? I ain't want him to touch me. My finger had just told me that he was leaving the right. hotel with a guy. I mean, that's nasty, nasty. <laughs> Who would? You've been with Eddie. Uh, how would you describe the relationship? Since it's a friend guy, um, came in the picture. It's, it's, it went downhill. Completely where where downhill. did this Xavier come from? I don't, I don't know him like time at it. I mean, I've seen him around before, but I don't, I don't dig him. I do not dig him. Do you blame a lot of the problems on Xavier? It it, it, it got some say so in it too. I mean, he he a grown ass man. Can't nobody put nothing in his head. I mean, he he has some fault in it too. Yeah. How is your sex life with Eddie? It ain't good. Not like it used to be. Yeah. Not like it used to be. He used to make me shake, shiver. And, and now he doesn't make you shake or no. shiver? I don't want him to touch me no, like that. You don't no. want him to touch. Mm -mm. And is it just, is it more of you thinking because that? a guy, with a guy. I mean, right. I could deal with a female, but a guy, no. Yeah. Do you think that he's been cheating on you with females too? I mean, I, I think I could take it with a female, but I got this nasty. But I'm saying, do you yeah. think that he's been? <laughs> I mean, we could do the female together. I mean, the best of both worlds. I like men and women. <laughs> okay, but so, like you're saying, it's okay for you to be gay, but not him. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> he can stop praying. You know damn well what's going on with me, Eddie. What? Talking about the sex life ain't good. Maybe you stop.
everybody else, it would be good. You can't be one out. Me and my man been away too for 12 years. My man has a hefty phone, why can't grab? You think I'm a with skis like you? Gotta clean up the language. Okay, then. That life. What don't you say? Huh? You funny, Bree Bree. Okay. No, my name ain't Bree Bree. You funny, Bree Bree. I don't know where the hell you get that from. My name Very. ain't Bree Bree. Okay. Very funny. Okay. Uh, you two don't like each other. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Good. <laughs> I'm standing right here, bro. Um, I mean, I ain't got no problem with her. But the thing is, I'm starting her, her and her family accusing me and of going together. Okay. Me are and you, you, Are you a gay man? Yes, I'm gay. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Holly. So, but you're saying, how, how did you meet Eddie, by the way? Eddie, me and I, I've been a friend of his family for a long time. Okay. And so you're saying there's no sexual relationship whatsoever? No. No. Yeah. You're friends. Right. Yeah. Eddie has never had a father figure in his life. When I came into Eddie's life, Eddie had never, it made me cry when he came and told me he had never had a birthday party. I threw him a birthday party. That's pretty nice. No one in his life ever asked him, what do he want? As in, in, in his future. They didn't even know the boy was talented enough that he was a freelance artist. I got him in a tattoo class, bought him his first tattoo kit, and, and now he's doing tattoos. He have a life because of me. I think she's just, and that child, <laughs> it's not Eddie. Don't speak up on the child. I know it's not Eddie. It's the not little boy. Speak up on it. Yeah. 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 Oh. That's not Eddie. Why, that's that's why, our decision. Why do you what, say so that? we have to deal because with Because I've seen Eddie the child, other child. Eddie jeans are strong. That child don't look because like Because they skip. My baby don't mean that's not Eddie's child. Oh, so well, we just see the day. We, we shall. Steve, I just want to find we out shall. and put a lie yes. to this thing that her and her yeah. best ass family been did going you, around. Did you know Eddie before he got in a relationship with her? Did I know Eddie before? Yeah. 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 And when he brought her around, what was your thoughts? Nothing. I thought she was a cool girl until she went around lying talking about, oh, I think <laughs> Yeah, you gotta stop swearing. I know the, I know the people, the people in our town know me. Everybody know me. Information comes to me about her. Information comes to me about him. Right. Maybe if they stop all the infidelity, they probably could have some going. Anything else? Yeah, you need to stop lying on me. Oh. Okay, what, what you were saying, why were you and Eddie in a hotel together? Playing cards with other friends. Like in a hotel room? Yeah. Okay. That's they do where I'm from. Well, I don't know, I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it a motel or a hotel? It was a hotel. A hole. Yeah. See, that's all she think about a hole, because that's what she is. A hole. A hole, hole, hole. I might be. I might have been. So Back you go, day. everybody goes to this room, you're playing cards and yeah. what, whatnot. Nobody's having sex. No. Okay. Me and my lover have been together for 12 years. Yeah. He works in court. It's, it's He's got a nice 401k. He has a, a heavy 401k. <laughs> Eddie uh -huh. barely keep a job. She can't, she ain't never had now, so. Why would I jeopardize that for what they got going on? I would well, never plus, do that. It would, you know, you're saying he's a young man that you've been a father figure to. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be inappropriate for you to have any kind of She's sexual going by what her family tells her. I was yeah. I'm sick of the lies, man. That, that's, that, that's all we man. Doing that, now? That's all What we doing now? No. No. You wouldn't be lying no. to me, would you? No. Me and Zayden, I ain't never. Never messed around, never. Well, I hope well and you would say you're a straight male, right? Right. Yeah. So, no, regardless of whatever, he's a father figure too, like you said. And he's I know he does. I know he does. <laughs> some men love and We're on a TV show. Okay. And some words you can't say. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, but you like both. Yeah, I love oh. it. Yeah. She I loves love both. Love. She loves both. Love. No, ain't no like love it. Love it. Yes. Oh, well, I can see why. <laughs> Do you ever participate like in three ways with her or anything? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But they're strictly two girls and you. Right. What man's going to say no to that? No man. <laughs> no man. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Do you believe that the little boy is yours? No. <laughs> no. Why, why not? He doesn't look like me. He's a good-looking kid, you and you're a good-looking guy. Yes, I, I love him like Oh, yeah, he's a beautiful but... child. No. He's no. a beautiful child. He's a sweet no. child. Yeah. Baby look, doesn't look like me. He doesn't no have features. to look like no. you. He doesn't no. have None. to. 
You could have took somebody else genetically. His daughter looked just like him. Come on, man. How long did how long know, the two of you been who, together? Who has daughter Five look years. like? Five years. Yes. Long time. Yes. Is this the only child you have together? Yes. Okay. Um, and you obviously love each other if you're staying together for five years, right? Yes. They don't love each other. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They don't know? love each other. Stay in your lane. They don't love each other. Stay in your lane. Okay, Xavier, oh. uh, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Eddie? No. You answered no. Have you ever had any physical sexual activities with Eddie? You answered no. No. The results came back the same, and it came back that Xavier Told the truth. I told you, bitch. <laughs> Eddie took a lie detector test. <laughs> we asked him, have you had sexual intercourse with Xavier? He answered no. Have you ever had physical sexual activities with Xavier? He answered no. The results came back the same, teach those two questions, and it came back that Eddie told the truth. And I know! I like me but and not Boas. But oh. Eddie, Eddie told... Boas turned into me. Eddie told the examiner that uh, he confessed that since being in a relationship with Kaish, he admitted to having sexual activities with four other women. Oh. And that what I told you! As recently... And that what I told you! As recently as you last muscle. week... Girl, you need... With, you, no, okay. you need a chastity bill. <laughs> That's what you need. Give as, me one thing. As recently as last week with an ex at her house. He also had sex with his ex two weeks ago at a hotel. Oh. And Steve, to make a clear, plain and simple, the night her cousin said he, he see saws coming out the hotel, I got the room for him and the girl that night. Oh. Kaish took a lie detector test. Oh, here we go. And she confessed, <laughs> since being in a relationship with Eddie, she's had sex with two other men. Wow. Two? Wow. Two. That's two. an understatement. Well, <laughs> one was an ex. And the other she met at a bar one week ago. Oh. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, you were in the room. She was at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now we go to the DNA. Hmm. Eddie, you came here and took a DNA test. And the results of that DNA test concerning uh, this little guy on screen is that you are not the father of oh. That's all they do is cheat on each other. Saying Eddie, the little boy thinks Eddie's his father. Yeah. Right? I mean, if that was the moment it still it in him, that's what he gonna believe. But is Eddie acting like his father? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my point. Okay, well, you're you right. Know. You know. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me the truth at first? You know, Eddie, it's just, I mean, I, I got to imagine before today, these doubts have been in your head. Yes. Has it affected your relationship with the little boy or no? Not at all. Right. I just don't understand why, if you both have these desires and needs that you want, you sometimes with other women, her with other women, and occasionally men, why not, why not just be more open about it and communicate that with each other. Right. You know, and, and, and then take the hurt out of it or the distrust. <laughs> I would like an update from you guys six months from now and say, we're still together. I, I'd like to know That's because it. I think if you're just honest, you both can make each other happy. They ain't so, going nowhere. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. You guys are all right. Sabrina says she became pregnant after having sex with her neighbor, Damien. <laughs> He denies the child because he says Sabrina was sleeping with other men. Oh. But Damien's mother, Kathy, believes this is his child, and she says it's time for her son to take care of his daughter. Me and Damien uh, was friends with, first with benefits, and one thing led to another. I became pregnant. I told him about the pregnancy, and first he was just saying, uh, well, do you think it's mine? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's yours. And, you know, he was like, well, if it's a boy, you can give him to me, but if it's a girl, I want a DNA. So I'm like, well, what difference does it make, you know, it's still our baby? So he was just like, well, I want a fraternity test. I said, okay, well, 
get your fraternity test. I said, are you going to be involved? Oh, well, I'm not going to be involved with the pregnancy. You know, I'll be there when you have the baby. I'm like, okay. So, a week before I had my baby, he disappeared. Didn't hear from him, didn't know. A family member told me that he moved away. I didn't hear from him for until I had my baby. And his mother came to the hospital, and she sat there, and she held my baby, and she said, this is my grandchild. She called him. She said, this is your baby. If you have any doubts, come get your blood test. He did not meet my baby until she was a year and a half old. We moved in with his mother when she, we, my baby was two months old. And he never he even called his mother. By me and my child living in his mother's house, he just distanced himself from his mother, didn't call, didn't say anything, nothing. He didn't want nothing to do with his mother because of me and his daughter staying in her house. So I called him. I said, Damien, come and get your test. I, I, I offered to pay for a fraternity test. And you know, he told me, well, I don't want to catch the bus because it's too far to walk. So I say, what kind of deadbeat are you? I say, you want this test. Now, I know she's yours, but I'm, come, I'm willing to come out of my pocket to take her to, 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 for you to know that this is your child just for, for the sake of my baby so that she can have a father and you can be in her life, you know? So he was just like, well, I, 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 I'll call Maury. I said, why you call? I said, you know what? I'm going to call Steve. Somebody's going to get on your face, you know? And so I told him. He thought, so I called him and I say, I called the show. We go on the show. And how many times has he seen the little girl? Maybe about three. Three times. And she's almost three years old. Um, and he obviously hasn't done anything nothing. for her. Nothing. Not, not about a pacifier, not a shirt, not a nothing. But uh, his mom has stepped his in. His mother, and... yes. His mother and his stepfather has been there for my baby since day one. And they've done a lot, uh -huh. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, when's the last time you had sex with him? Mm, about a week and a half ago. <laughs> I know. So what do you hope happens tonight? DNA test comes back, shows he's the father, and then he steps up to the plate and is more of a father, helps you with, with the right. little girl. That's all I, mean, I, three that's years all I ask. Has passed. That's all I ask. That's, that's and a he lot cannot of time make up that. He cannot make up that time. No, you cannot make he up that time. He can't make up that time. Let's meet him. Here's Damien. I know this ain't my baby. One time. I just know it ain't my baby. Two times. Look. Really? She don't have dimples? The dimples really? is a big thing with me. It don't matter. Each and every one of my kids have dimples. My dad has blue eyes. Do I have blue eyes? There is no... Do you, do you not think the baby's yours? No, I don't. You don't? And well, why don't you think it's yours? First, dimples are a big thing in my family. Okay. I have four let's, kids. Let's forget about dimples. <laughs> okay. You know you were having sexual intercourse. Yes, now, right? it, it, and, and uh, I'm not 100% sure that it's not my baby because I had intercourse How about the fact that your mother takes her in and, like, helping, says it's yours, wants you to step up the plate? Do you think your mom's wrong, too? I really do. Oh, wow. I really do. Wow. Ooh. What kind of, what kind of, what stuff, what kind of stuff is that? But you're sleeping with them. I know. <laughs> I had slept with him, Steve. I had slept with him one time prior to two years. Um, <laughs> how about the fact that she's three years old and you could be here today, find out it's your daughter and three years gone? I feel real bad because I'm, again, I'm not a, a guy that doesn't take being a father, a serious thing. I, I mean, I really You are a guy into, that doesn't take it seriously. No, with this one. Oh, this I have one. four others oh. that so I see. So those four others get you. That I deal with. Right. That, but that this I, one doesn't get you. No, sir. There is no connection. I mean. Because okay. you haven't seen her. What kind of connection can you have okay. if you ain't never been what around? What about the times when I am around her? Damien, she comes and, to and, you and, and goes say, to you and you come won't here say here, nothing. Baby, and there is no response. She's she not going to respond to somebody she, she don't know. know. How she going to respond to somebody she don't know? That's funny, Steve, How when the baby tells me she don't know? How she going to respond to somebody she don't know? You were so mad at her that you slept with her last week. You want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Contact the show now at 1-888-STEVE-07. If, if the baby is mine, I would love to be in the baby's life. I mean, I would love to get to know her. But if the baby is not mine, I just simply want you to leave me alone. Oh, baby, you ain't got to worry about that. Oh, uh, we're going to meet your mom. Kathy, let's bring her out. Hey, sweetie, I just want to say 
Hi, Steve. Hi, You're so you? handsome. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say to you, She Diane, told the truth. I did. <laughs> I just want to say to you, Damien, I bond with that baby, and that's my baby. That's my granny. My granny. She's my grandbaby. Yeah. I thought the fact that he, like, when you, she, you moved her in, he kind of disappeared, didn't even call you. You know what? No. He, he left a week or so before she had the baby. But after she moved in the house with me, and he found out about it, he told me she was a she-devil. I needed to get her out of my house. And so, a she-devil, I'm not going to put her out. I mean, why? Sabrina, when Sabrina came to my house, Sabrina was, I needed Sabrina. Me and my husband was both down sick. Sabrina took care of us. I needed Sabrina. So, why would I put Sabrina out? You know, he wasn't here. He was in Midland, Texas. And he wasn't coming back here. Right. You know, so put her out. Okay, after I didn't do that, and I told him I wasn't going to do that, he said, well, you no longer have a son. You now have a daughter. You told your mother that? And to this day, he have not apologized to me for that. Okay, and for that, I want to apologize to you, mama. Okay, and you know what, Damien? And you know I so desperately want this test to come out that this is your baby. And, you know, you're going to have to live with if this beautiful honey here, look at my baby. That's granny there. That's my Mia Maya. This baby, when these tests come back and say that this is your baby, you got your work cut out, dude. Because the whole two years, you have missed out this baby's life. And why? Because you're stuck on stupid. Damon, I tried to get you a long time ago to just come and do the test. Why, why are you denying this child? Because, you know, God is going to hold you responsible for that. You have, you have missed all this time out of this baby's life. And I, too... Do so, you know I believe it's your child. And even if she ain't, she's still my grandbaby. Aww. That's granny. That's my baby. Well, your son came here and he took a DNA test and the results are, Damon, you are the father of Sabrina. What I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, How you feel? How you feel? You're gonna have to give an account of God for that. And you know what? And, and, and more than that, you're gonna have to explain to this baby one day why we were standing on this stage going through this hill for you to even step up and own her. It's not good. You have to, you never gave it a chance. You never gave the baby a chance. I mean, three years you missed out on. I mean, just being a dope, you know, telling your mom she doesn't have a son. She, she does the right thing. She takes this, the woman that you slept with, that you created a baby with, she's helping her. You take off. Three years of denying, and it's, and it's your child. Do you All want... you had to do was be a man. Man up and, and test. Do the test. There's, do the test. Do you want to go back and talk to her? No. No. You, why? Why you don't? You need to say something to her, Damien. That's the mother of your baby. Uh, you know what? And I'm sorry, ma'am. You, you're a selfish guy. Um, Very selfish. Very selfish. Um, you can't go back right now and, and talk to her, but a week ago, you could take your clothes off and lay with her. That you can do. But, but, Steve, she could also come and lay with me that's and then right. get on TV. But you know and what? But she has face, right? but she has been denying her baby for three years. And Only I, one I, person I has been doing that. that. Me. And that's you. Uh, I I tell you one thing right now. Uh, you got your results, and he doesn't want to talk to me. I can't make her uh, make your son talk to him. But uh, I'll say this. If I acted like you did in front of my mother, I would be really embarrassed. I and know. and I'd have to worry about my father kicking my ass. Good luck to you. I love you, don't you? You know I love Mama, you. Mama, I know. I know, baby. I know. I had to keep telling this I know. I know. I know.
But I never died cheating. I know. I never died cheating. I never died cheating. I love you so much, Sabrina. I love you so much, baby. I'm sorry. Well, two weeks ago, I got a phone call from a man stating that he to be my father. Well, I grew up thinking all my life that one man, Anthony, was my father. But how can you be my father? You knew my name, you knew I was there, you knew family relatives, so you never took the time to even try to even see if I was your daughter or not. Like growing up, I was in and out of DCFS, I'm in and out of foster care, bouncing from home to home. So basically, like, I didn't have a good childhood life growing up. When I got the phone call from Travis, it was kind of like a shock because when we was talking and he started sending me pictures of him, I kind of look like this man. I'm just like the darker version, the girl version of him. So I'm like, okay, this kind of weird. It's a blessing. That's how I feel. I, don't, I think it's a good thing. It kind of made me feel like, like, I got somebody that that wants me. I don't feel like I'm abandoned no more. Like he like he told me like he been like he been looking for me for 29 years, and that my like my relative been ducking and dodging him, wouldn't give him information on me. Like was just basically just like blowing him off. Like like what he said really didn't matter. I can't blame Travis. I can't blame him. I can't blame him. All I can do is, if he is my father, is to build that bond with him. I just hope that what this man Travis has been telling me is the truth. And I hope when his DNA test come out that he is my father. Uh, how do you feel when you listen to what she has to say? I don't know. When, when it's all said and done, I just, I really do, I really do hope she's my little girl. I've been looking for her since I was 16. Um, the way that it, the way that it happened was, uh, it was just a mutual friend of the family's. Uh, my mom, my mom, uh, my parents uh, allowed her to keep an eye on us. And I was 16, she was 21. You know, at the time when it happened, um, when I look back, I feel that she did possibly take advantage of me in a sense. Um, and like a month, two months later, she came back around and she was just like, hey, I'm pregnant by you. So me being 16 years old, still in middle school, about to become a freshman in high school, I was just like, what? Really? And so I told, my, I told my parent about it. My parents were kind of livid about the situation. So when they found out, they basically made, they it, it was a big blow up, you know, and they basically looked at it as, you know, well, if this is our grandchild, you know, we're coming for it. Once she found that out, once she found that out, I strongly believe that, uh, that's when she basically took Prisha and just hit her, you know, from my understanding, she, all of the, all she took off. Seven. Yeah. She pretty much just took off. Um, I didn't know where she was at and I ran into her a few times at the store or something like that. And even when we met, even when we seen each other at the store, it was a lot of just simple high by type attitude. And I would ask about Prisha, like, well, where's Prisha? You know, and did you baby? know that How was Capricia, Capricia's name? No, at the time I didn't. All I just knew was that my daughter. Yeah. I didn't even know Preacher's name. Preacher didn't even have my last name to where she could do any kind of searching for me. Uh, uh, the the lady and that we're speaking of in um, in importance, she uh, basically just kept it. She did a damn good job to keeping Preacher away from me and keeping us separated. And it was crazy part about it is that Preacher was literally we were right up under each other's noses. And and how like, did you like, how how did you find Capricia? A mutual friend of the lady that we're speaking of happened to get in contact with me. I did a tattoo on him, and then he ended up get, doing the tattoo. He ended up uh, referring me to a few people, which happened to be someone related to Capricia, a relative of Capricia's. So why the guy why he came and talked to me and we did the tattoo, or we was doing a tattoo? I was just looking at him. I'm like, man, you look real familiar. You know, and I'm like, is uh, such and such a father? He was like, no, not at all. And uh, I'm like, so is, who's your, I'm like, is such and such related to you? He was like, yeah. He was like, uh, I was like, so name such and such, she's probably about like 29, 30, so like that. And he was like, yeah, I talk to her all the time. So I'm like, okay, well, do you, do you know who I am? And he was like, no, nah, why, who are you? And I said, well, there's a strong possibility that I'm preaching father. And his mouth would drop. Like, he was like, are you serious? And he 
he got Preacher on the phone. When I talked to Preacher on the phone, I I simply just told her like, hey, I'm not trying to disrupt your life. This is just as nervous, uh, mind blowing for me as it is for you. All right, well, let's bring Capricia in. Hi, Capricia. Hi, Steve. How was it like to get that call from Travis and he's saying, hey, I, I think I'm your father? Um, I was shocked. Like, I was like, what? Like, nah, like, my, like a relative tell me, tell me, like, one man been my father all my life. And then for him to come out the woodworks and then him explain his situation, his story to me, I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah. This, like, is crazy. From what I understand, what Travis has told us, um, very odd situation how he would have became your father, that he was a, a teenager himself being taken advantage by an adult uh, and really had no, it was in no position to be in your life, track you down, uh, anything like that. So, um, what... I really don't blame him for that. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Me, I really can't blame him for that because it's not his fault. Yeah. It's really not his fault. And from what so he, the emotions him. that he's shown, it's been really hard on him knowing that he has a daughter and missing out on, on her life. And being kept away from, and being kept away is, yeah. it's not right. Are you, uh, are you ready for these results? Yeah. What about you, I'm Travis? Ready, you ready? ready? All right. Travis took a DNA test whether Capricia is his daughter. Uh, and the results are, Travis, that you are not Capricia's father. It's okay. We can still build a bond. <laughs> it's okay. You're right. Travis, I'm just wondering, you know, at that time, you being a 16-year-old kid, it's, it's probably possible, I mean, it's got to be possible that this woman, whoever she is, maybe got pregnant by somebody else and just tried to, like, lay it at your feet. It's a very strong possibility you might not even have a daughter with that woman. Well, it's obvious that I don't have a daughter with that woman. But regardless, the situation is just messed up all the way around. But I'm man enough, and I know Prisha is woman enough to where we still want people. And you I want that, right, Capricia? You I, want Travis to be, uh, like, maybe still develop a bond? Yeah, we can still talk on the phone. We can still bond. Is that something yeah. you'd want, Travis? Yeah, I'm definitely with it, 100%. 100%. Yeah. It's not, it's, it's not going to change phone calls. It's not going to change any way how I speak to you or how I listen for you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm here. I'm here whenever, however you need me. I just really want to apologize for putting you through this. I'm sorry for getting your hopes up. Um, well, I think everybody entered this with really good in, uh, intentions. There was no malice on anybody's part. I think, listen, it's not the results anybody wanted. We're all hoping that you were her biological father. I believe that she wanted that, you wanted that. It's obviously not what we wanted, but, uh, you know, you're moving forward. You, you keep developing what you have, and hopefully that brings you peace. Uh, it certainly seems uh, that you are more at peace with uh, where you, the, your father's situation stands. And Travis, it seems like you're still not at peace because you've been searching for such a long time, and now when you thought that you finally came to the end of the road that uh, it's not the case. So I'm really sorry yeah. this didn't come out the way that everybody hoped, but um, I hope things go well for both of you in the future. 
I hope whatever you want out of this relationship will happen. And I just I wish you the best, both of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, take care. Vora grew up believing that her father had passed away and she would never have a relationship with him. But fate may have a different plan. You see, Devora decided to take two genealogy tests and the results revealed that she was not a match to the man she always believed to be her dad. Instead, it linked her to a man named Willie who had no idea he might have a daughter. Uh, Devora, what was it like uh, meeting Willie for the first time? Um, I can't say that it was like an immediate connection, but like the similarities were there. Uh, first thing he said was, I never had sex with you because I was with my daughter. So he thought oh, that, geez. he thought that it was, <laughs> he thought I was my mom. Right, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, I had to, you know, let him know I'm the daughter in question. Like, and, um, mm. <laughs> and he didn't reject me, which was probably the best thing for me yeah. with, um, with um, issues of rejection from just everything. Yeah, so. no matter how old you are as a person, you still want that bond with a mother, with a father, that it never goes away. Yeah. Uh, how does it make you feel that he wants you to be his daughter? <laughs> That's probably like the best thing that could ever be, because like, I was thinking, um, I was so scared at first, like, I, was, I didn't want to contact him because I didn't know if he would reject me because yeah. that would probably um, make me, I have like issues, just trust issues and all kind of things. So if, I, if he would reject me, then I'm like, <laughs> men would be off the table. Like I wouldn't deal with men, period. Uh, and, I, and I think like, okay, if Willie is your father, uh, I think about like, oh my God, look at all he's missed out on and all you've missed out on. That's. That, that's kind of like the, the, the sad part of it, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you, you said you're a mom, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, not only does he gain a daughter, he gains, gains a, a grandchild, mm -hmm. too, right? What do you have, a little More girl? Three. A little boy? Three kids. Oh, three, you have three kids. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, I mean, you multiply your family by <laughs> quite a, a bit all of a sudden. <laughs> a lot. Um, now, your mom, you did know your mom. She passed away a few years ago. Mm -hmm. What did she tell you about your father before she died? Uh, through the years, I just heard the, the name William, and um, she didn't say a whole lot to me. I'm, I'm not sure if she really knew, yeah. but she, um, when she was like going to hospice, uh, she had cancer on her brain, and um, I was, I was really mad at her, you know, because like my sister knew who her dad was before she passed, and um, another sibling knew who theirs were, but I didn't know. Minds, what? Just the way you react, and I really hope this DNA test comes out that Will is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to this Ancestry.com, right? Yeah, so uh, there was a maternal match and a, a paternal match that had relatives of his, and um, I contacted a shared match who is also his uh, relative, and he said that the only person who would have this maternal match and this paternal match would be Will. my Willie. Yeah. Uh, how did you get in contact with him? Uh, the the uh, family member contacted him and that same day that he responded to me, and then the next day he called me back like, hey, he, he wants to speak to you. Uh, uh, did you meet up with Willie? Yeah, I was. We, we planned to do it the next day, but then I just started thinking, and I was like, tomorrow's not even promised, so I went to the same day. Oh, and, and where did you meet? I, I went to his, um, his residence where he stayed. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you said you felt like this is your dad, right? Yeah, I, I really feel it in my heart. He's my dad. Yeah. So you're really hoping that Willie is. Mm -hmm. And he, 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 like you said, he's saying he hopes that he's, he's your dad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time one of the producers told me that, and I didn't know that he hoped that. And so that felt good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Let's meet Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing classes it up like flowers, you know? Right. Mm, thank you. <laughs> now, so, Willie, you know, it's, it's got to be a little mind-blowing for you to be yes. a man of your age to be saying, 
Hey, here's this uh, woman in her 40s. She might be your daughter. Yeah. When, you, when you first he have an inkling that this might be the case, what goes through your mind? I don't know. I was very shocked. And, yeah. you know, I just had to find out. So we went to talking and, you know, blah, 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 that. And we <laughs> trying to get and, together. And, and, you know, what's nice is, uh, you know, sometimes when the person's searching for a mother or father, Sometimes the initial response can be not so nice. Like, right. oh, yeah, I don't want, you know, oh, get out of here. Yeah. And, but you, you seem like, uh, you know, you, you even said you hope that she is your daughter. Yes, I do. She's yeah. a very nice person. Yeah. Thank you. When you look at her, do you see yourself in her? Yeah, you see her full head. <laughs> <laughs> I can be your son, man. <laughs> 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 So, um, do you remember being with her mother? Yes, back in the 80s. You know, we messed around here and there. And yeah. You know. <laughs> Next thing I know, 40 some years later, you yeah. know. 80s were crazy, right? Yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss the 80s. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you remember anything about her mom? Uh, well, you know, she was real nice at the time. Then. Yeah. But it wasn't, was it a serious relationship at all, or just very casual? No, no. We was all bar hopping around that yeah. time and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. just, and uh, so you weren't really in a relationship with her? No, not, not no hard down yeah. relationship. Yeah. You know how it was, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so now you get to uh, meet Devorah for the last few weeks. How, how's that been? Yeah, well, you know, like I'm saying, very shocking and, um, my kids love her and my daughter bonding like they've been knowing each other forever. That's nice. And, my and not only like her, her, you get three grand, uh, grandkids right. in the package. Hey. Jeez. <laughs> holiday, hey. This holiday season, it got a lot more expensive for you. I know. <laughs> Very. Uh, now, uh, you know, you took a DNA test. The yes. geology is one thing, mm -hmm. but when you take the DNA test, that's the definitive answer. Right. You guys, uh, you ready for that? Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Willie, uh, you know, you're living your life. You're a guy who's enjoying, you know, uh, slowing down a little bit. And then, a boom, hey, it might be your daughter. And these are my kids. Yeah. And you took a DNA test. Yes, we did. And the results of that test, Willie, is that you are divorced. <laughs> See, I think, well, but I think Willie knew because he's not that surprised. Hey, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said him and my mom had fun, so yeah. I know. Yeah, but, but I think he, he can feel it that he's, yeah. he's your dad. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm really so happy for you. Yeah, me too. Mm. Mm. Uh, you got to make up for lost time. Yeah, we're going to do that. Mm. Take it easy, baby. <laughs> I love you. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Hey, see? Dad's going to make it all right. You don't have to, you know, he's going to make everything right for you. Thank you so much. Now, that just goes to show you, no matter how old you are, you know, <laughs> Dad's there. He's going to make up for lost time. Sure is. And uh, I think you guys are going to have a lot of wonderful times moving Thank forward. Thank you so yeah. much. Thanks for coming on. Oh, Thank you. Why are you here? Aisha has been telling a lot of lies and it's been causing like a lot of conflict. One moment, he's not, she's not pregnant by him. The next moment, she is pregnant by him. I was on Facebook and I seen pictures of the baby. And I'm like, the baby looked just like my son when he was born. And so I'm like, I left her a message and she called me back. And I'm like, what's going on? And she was like, yeah, well, I'm glad, you know, that it's out. She's saying that she lied and yeah. it's actually your son's. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um. And, and why did she lie about that again? Well, the first lie was that she was lying because they didn't want to get my son in trouble. Because she didn't because want you was, to know that he was having sex with her. Yeah, they're supposed to be like cousins. 
Well, it's just like, after I talked to her that day, and I told her, you know, I thought they, they resembled, she told me, you know, yes, they, you know, she, he was indeed the father of the baby. After that, family members was telling me that it was another guy um, that lived in her, the state that she lives in, that she was telling him that it was his baby, and he was, um, him and his mom was thinking that they were, you know, the father and the grandmother of their right. baby, her right. baby. And so I asked Aisha about it, and she told me that that was just because they were going together at the time, and he basically just wanted to step up and be the father because, you know, he was her boyfriend. So basically, you were here today because you want to know if Aisha's uh, child is your grandchild. Yes, I want to know. I mean, and that possibly is, is your grandson. Um, when you look at this little boy, I haven't seen your son, but does that look like your son? He looks like my son when he was little, and he looks like my other son. And now you're getting pretty emotional about this. Why is that? I don't know. Um, because it's just like causing a lot of issues and he's he's sick you know he has health issues and, the, the, this little boy uh -huh. and uh, i just want closure so if he is my grandson i want to be there you know right. i want to see him grow up and i want to <laughs> you need to tell me the truth Aisha. sorry what erica is, for lying I, mean, I know I, um erica i pushed you through i apologize for it but my son is your grandson and, and I, I just hope want so. To prove I mean, I just don't understand like the lies. Like it's like constantly. Mookie told me to lie, lie to you. When I told him I was pregnant, he said, "Oh, don't say nothing. I don't want to get okay. in trouble." So I just left like that and put it on my ex-boyfriend. I know that, but and and I stuck you with was it. grown at the time. He's a kid. You don't listen to. You know that. Why? You know, you were with her son, Sean, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, you have a little uh, baby boy. Why would you put another man's name on the birth certificate? I was dating him at the time. <laughs> I was dating that person at the time, and Sean told me not to say nothing, so I just left it as that. But why would he say not to say anything? I guess he felt like he didn't want to get in trouble because he know how his mom is when it comes down to him having kids. At the time you were sleeping with her son and this other guy, I mean, could it be possible that he's the father of the baby? I mean, you're sleeping with two guys at once, right? She was actually in Columbus, Ohio, where, where, where I'm from, when she conceived. So that was the whole issue. Like, yeah. when that was even brought up, I'm like, she wasn't even where she's from when she got pregnant. So I know for a so fact So the other guy's from the other place? Yes. Yeah. So you're saying because you were in another state, he really couldn't have got you pregnant? She told yes. me that she put him But he on went, hold on a second. At one point, he thought, though, that he could have got you pregnant. He put his name on the birth certificate, and then you told him, guess what, you're not the father. Yes. Do you still want to be with Sean? No, we was never in a relationship. I just known him well, since sorta. I was little. Well, since that happened, yeah, but <laughs> I don't, it's not no, oh, I want to be with Sean, because that's so my So it was father. just a sexual thing? Yes, that's all it was. <laughs> You lying, you know you was contacting me. I never had your number. I never called you not okay, one time. Okay, so Sean, you, you never, text you never my called best your mom. Phone. You never called your you mom and asked for my, my best number. Friend. You be now, I never called. Miss Eric, he never, did he, did he ask you for my number? No, I asked, matter number. of fact, I asked for your number okay, one time okay, because be my mom said you, you was having you was problems with the on, baby. Uh, you I felt sorry for Facebook. you. That's not my baby you at all. You was writing me I never, I don't even know your Facebook name. Okay, yeah, I, I never knew your Facebook name and I didn't accept that you it. My son's You're father. causing problems for me and no, me. No, me. He's writing me. I just want I you to sell my you. life. Okay, well, I just we'll, want we'll you to sell my out. life. We'll just okay. find out. I'm not going to okay. argue with you. This is probably a good reason not to have casual teen sex because you'll end up on my show. <laughs> um, you obviously got into a sexual relationship with her. Um, do you believe that the baby is your son? No, sir. And why don't you believe it's yours? Because I don't have no connection with him. I don't think he looks like me. How many times did you have sex with, uh... One I'm, time I'm for sorry, three I, minutes. Aisha? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it three minutes? No, it wasn't. He tried to be sarcastic. Three to five minutes, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> How long? <laughs> so, that's all that is. Because if you want to get technical... I'm really sorry you got to hear this. If you want to get technical... He said I was 
the best he ever had, and he only he was only. So if you want to get technical, we can take it there. So how long was it? It was longer than five to ten minutes. I know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she can't be trusted, Steve. She lies about everything. Now, Sean, there's the little boy. How old is your little boy now? He's 11 months. He's 11 months old. Yes. Um, are you hoping that you're the father of this child, or you, um, you're hoping that you're not? I hope that I'm not, but if I am, I, I will step up. I will take and, care of him. <laughs> And um, how, uh, how many times have you met the little boy? Um, I met him one time. Just one time. Now, if you are the father, you know, 11 months old, and, you, and you'll, and like, say, if you are the dad, won't it be kind of bad that you only seen your son once in 11 months? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, I, I don't think he's mine at all. But if he is, I will feel bad. OK. And you say it's Sean's baby. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, let's but find you know out. What? One thing I want to say. <laughs> Aisha, like, I love her. Like you a love niece. her? Yes, I do. She's like a niece to me. Um, and like I told her, like I explained to her and him, and regardless to if he is my grandson or if he isn't my grandson, he's going to be my nephew if he's not. Okay. So, um, Sean, you took a DNA test before the show, and the DNA results are that you are not the father. I told you! I told you! My life, I told you! I told you! I got one. Can I have a patient? Yeah, sure. No, you can't. Come here. No, 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 no. No, listen, listen. No, listen, listen. Listen, no. You not, you can't do this. No, listen. This is this is the result that, that happens. You know, I was a young mom. I had Sean at, when I was 14 years old. This is why y'all do, don't need to be laying around opening y'all's legs to any and everybody. Do you understand that? Do you understand me? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm your, I, look at me. Look at me. All the lies and all that stuff. You, all this, this needs to stop. This really needs to stop. Well, Aisha, there is, there is the, the matter of Sean not being the father of your child. Um, and you did put a, another, another man's name on the birth certificate. All right, so let's go back on, on stage. Come on now. I apologize for everything I put you through. And I apologize for everything I put you through. Thank you. That's all I need. Um, So, uh, at least, Sean, you have a little bit of load off your mind. You're, you're not the father of this child. Um, the great thing is your mom says that she's still going to help with this baby, which has got to give you some comfort. Um, I would suppose this other guy that you put on the birth certificate. Yes, he, 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 the dad, he is the dad. Um, well, he happens to be here. Um, let's bring him out. Were you under an impression that you were the father all this yes, time? Yes, sir, I was. Did you have any idea that she, uh, Sean was under impression that Aisha. he was the father? I learned about him, like, Aisha. after the whole incident. Aisha. After the whole incident. After Listen, the, were you me saying being that the, the father signed sure the birth certificate, the then what his name popped up. And you're saying that there is even David a possibility that David you might not be the father. Him. I know, Aisha, you're back to yelling about it's a lie, but the only... People that are lying about us to, to whoever you're telling who's the father of your child. Now, if you want to come out and find out if Van is the father of your child, I think that's an important uh, thing. I'm here with you. I will go out there. You can stand beside me. Come on. You ain't got to put up with nobody. Come on. Let's go. This, this is a, a question of who is the father of this child. Um, you wanted to come on to find out if you were the grandmother. And, you know, whatever your feelings are for him, and obviously you're not too happy to see him, um, but he, his name is on the birth certificate, and he has every right to know if this child is his, just like... <laughs> 
Do you think you're the father? No. At first, I was under the impression that I was, so I thought I was, but really, I don't think I am. And uh, any, any way, either way, do you feel like you want to be the father, you don't want to be the no, father? No, I do not. You Look. don't want to be the father. <laughs> no, I do well, not. Well, obviously, okay. for some reason, you yeah, guys don't like Because you ain't did nothing, they ain't gonna never do nothing, so. Ben, you are not the father. <laughs> I need this. Yeah, I need this. You Thank you. Thank you. You know, I need this. in all uh, in all seriousness, I feel, you know you know who I feel sorry for in this story Dead is man. that little guy right there. Right there. Right there. Um, yeah. 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 Wow. Um, I'm gonna ask both of you gentlemen to yes, leave. Sir. Thanks for being on the show. I hope this works out. Um, you got a beautiful little boy. All I would say is uh, you are very lucky to have this woman in your life that's standing by you through this, um, thinking that her son is the father, his name's not on the birth certificate, Van's name's not on the birth certificate, turns out he's not the father. Um, all I can say to you is um, I don't know if it's anything that you would even want to entertain going forward. I'm sure in your mind you do know who the father is, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. I would slow down with, you know, running around with these guys. I would focus on raising that little boy and making sure he gets the medical attention that he needs. I would focus on let straightening out who his names on that birth certificate so this little boy knows who his father is and doesn't grow up confused about that. I mean, that's a fair thing for him to, that you give him. And again, I would say focus on this little guy. Forget about all these young guys out here running around. You're a young woman. You got a whole life ahead of you. You could be a wonderful mother, and I'm, I'm sure you are a wonderful mother to this little guy. But if you're just going to have all these guys passing through, it's, it's really, it does you no good. It's going to do your son no good. That was them. I'm not even <laughs> And like I said, you have this woman in your life, and it seems like she'd be a great mentor for you. She's willing to stand by you and help you out through this situation. Being a young single mom, it, it's not an easy situation. She said she's been there herself. She's willing to help you. We are willing to help you. If you need help, you can contact us. We're going to do everything we can to help you through this, okay? All right. Good luck to you, all right? That's great. Thanks, thanks for coming on. My son passed away six months ago. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. And, um... There's this, you know, there's them doubts because I know that they have, you know, played around with other guys. They want me to say 100% that these are my grandkids, and I can't because I know for a fact that they have slept around. Why in the world? What would be their incentive, their motivation to lie about something like that? Well, for one, they want, their, they want his death benefits. They called Social Security and said that, yes, they're Christopher's, and Social Security called me. I'm not going to lie to Social Security. You know, Ashley was pregnant when Christopher passed away. And with Ashley, you know, she slept with my nephew. And now, you know, she, I don't, I'm having a really hard time believing her because she moved in with my ex-husband, which is Christopher's father. And the whole time that she's up there where he's living, she's texting me saying, you know, that she loves my son and she would give anything in the world to have him back. But yet she's having an affair with, with Christopher's dad at the same time, yes. This is Ashley? Yes, that's so Ashley. Ashley slept with your nephew? And Christopher's and father. And now he's sleeping with your son's is. father. They're still carrying Your ex-husband. Yeah. Did you ever confront her and say, what the hell are you doing? Well, when she comes... <laughs> when she moved back down here because they had some problems... She moved back down here and she moved in with my daughter. And, you know, she finally told the truth. I knew because I know my ex-husband, he don't do nothing for nobody unless it benefits him. She finally admitted to me that, yes, they were having an affair. And he's, I told her. Uh, he's quite a bit older than her. He's 55. And she's 28. Do you hope that they are your sons. I hope they are. You, you do. You hope yep. that they are your son. Right. Well, let's find out. She's backstage. Let's bring her out.
First of all, I'm going to clear the air. I've never had sex with Ralph. Never. You're a no, liar. No, I never told you, you that. You told me that. No. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. No, you're a liar. You are. You admitted it. I'll take it. a lie detector test to prove that I've never okay. had sex Do with him. Do a lie detector test because you I know. Because I will come back to you. You slept Hold with on. him too. Hold no. You tried you know to what? get with him this you're weekend. Not, were you there Hold when on. I slept with anybody? You don't know me. Hold you're on. not me. Hold on. Oh, yes, I do know you. No. You're the biggest bitch in the world. You're right, I am. Hold on. Hold on. Just to clarify things, you just said you would uh, take a lie detector test. We offered to give you a lie right. detector test on the show. <laughs> you refused. Right. And Whatever. Just, just hold clear on. the air. Hold on. Hold I've on. never had sex hold with him. Hold on. And the, the thing you did say was you did have oral sex with yes, him. Yes, that's not sexual intercourse. <laughs> it was not like that in the beginning. In the beginning, we did not have any, sex, any type of sexual contact, nothing like that. We were able to sit down with each other, open up to each other, and actually talk about anything. That's yeah, what it and then was he about. opened up his pants and you had sex. <laughs> I mean, did you ever have sexual intercourse with uh, Chris's father? No, I did not. Um, why did you refuse to take the lie detector test? I don't feel I should have to when I know what the truth is. Yeah, but wouldn't, wouldn't it be for a mother that uh, lost her son, that you're saying that this is her granddaughter, that, you know, let's face it, there is human emotion involved here. You know, you you were having some form of sex with her ex-husband, her son's father. When did you want to say, here, here's the proof I didn't sleep with him? True. Any reason why you didn't want to give that up? You know, at that point in time, I wasn't thinking. I just said, oh, you know, yes, I should have done it. Um, you also slept with uh, Chris's cousin, right? That was, Chris and I were not together at that point in time. Okay, I'm not, right. I'm just saying, you slept with her nephew, his cousin. It was at one, only one time, yes. Only one time. Sexual intercourse. Yes. Could he be the father of your child? There is a slight possibility, Oh, yes. so it is a chance that Chris's cousin could be the father of this yes, child. Yes, because there's a two-week gap in okay, between it. Ashley, so I really don't mean to judge you, okay? You were with a guy, you slept with his cousin, you slept with your, your lover's father. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let's bring out Ralph. Uh -huh. uh, I'm told Ralph doesn't want to come out, so I'm going to go back and see if I can get him <laughs> to come out. Yeah, of course you don't want to come out. Yeah. Let's bring out uh, Chris's cousin, your nephew, uh, Eric. Let's bring him out. <laughs> You're a slut. How dare you sleep with your See his boyfriend's dad. Say, hey, hey, hey. Stop swearing. Yeah, watch, watch your mouth. You slept with me too. I have a good reason. I was drunk. <laughs> Yo, okay. What was his excuse? Was, I was drunk too. I wasn't thinking. You're drunk. You don't want to take responsibility for your life. I have a kid. At a least, kid that I want. At least if I, I could go back in time, I, I wouldn't lie. even done it. I wish I'd have never met you. If it comes up mine, you can guarantee I'm fighting for full custody because you're an go unfit right ahead. mother. No, I'm not. Go ahead and Bull. prove it. You can't prove it. Go ahead and try to take my kid. You Lose. That's why my life. Her name is Carrie, and I believe her child is three years old. Yep. Let's bring her out. It's been like four years on this. We need to put the behind us. I'm Stop sick swearing. of okay. it. Stop the swearing. thing of it is, Carrie, you need to tell the truth. I will tell you the truth. You want to know the truth? I slept with that other guy two months before I got pregnant. Chris told me. Chris told me the night that I got okay. pregnant, I was coming home pregnant. And sure, I came home pregnant, Vera. This is about whether this woman here is the mother of your grandchild. Right. You have doubts about it. You say she's the grandmother of your yeah. child. Okay. Chris is the only um, one that could be the father of my child. There is no other possibility. Your daughter, Misty's here. Yep. Let's bring her up. With my dead right. brother's dad. Okay. You know. You want to talk no, about a whore? No. You're the biggest one around. Yeah, you're right. But you know what? My dad has never been there. Beat the freak out of my mom. You know what? He's going to do it to you, and he's going to do it to your kids, and he's going to walk out on you. I feel very fortunate, like when I do these stories, because when I was a little boy, my grandmother lived right below us. Like I, I knew who my grandmother was. Right. You know, it was like, well, maybe she is, maybe she isn't. That was my grandma. She lived downstairs. And 
and you know, and I'm lucky in that. With like, you know, not a lot of money or anything like that, but I had family, and I knew who my family was, and we loved each other. And maybe when we find out the results, and if they're all good and everybody's happy, focusing on stop being so angry with each other and I do it for your kids. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. Vera, you are the grandmother to her. <laughs> I'm really happy for you, Vera. You you lost your son, but now you know for sure that you have a grandson, <coughs> and um, I hope that brings some happiness into your life. It does. Um, And three years, that's a long time wondering who grandma is, so I'm glad that worked out. Um, Eric, you also are here because you did sleep with Ashley. Yes. You possibly could be the father. Let's find out. <coughs> Eric, you are not the father. Yes! Thank <laughs> God. So happy. Vera, you are the happy. <laughs> Are you happy about that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, beyond belief, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so now we took uh, DNA from Vera and the baby to find out if you are the grandmother. Vera, you are the grandmother to Ashley's child. <laughs> Life Ralph's gone. He's gone. No more texting. No, no more texting. Text nothing. It's just us. Oh, we got to see each other. And I'm sure oh. each and every one of you, in a certain way, uh, you miss your brother, you miss your son, you miss somebody that you were involved with and you know had a child. True love. But now we have two pieces left of him. You, you, you know what? You have two little people that are part of him. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> You, you know who the grandmother is. You, you know, you're basically all, you're, you're a family now. Yeah, if you choose are. to be, if you can be civil with each other, I wish you all the best of luck. If there's anything that we can help in the future, uh, please let us know. But I just hope that, you know, you can, you guys can go on and be happy and, and you live good lives, okay? And you take care, and you take care of these children. Good luck to you, okay? Thank you, Steve.